D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So, uh, I was at work last night and they dropped this news. And I was super bummed about it. And I wanted to go over it, you know, today. Uh... Just because, uh, yeah, I love this show, Superman and Lois, and it looks like Jonathan Kent, uh, Jordan Elias, is getting recast um, from the show. Um, it, it It's it's from uh, personal issues and everything, so I hope everything is okay. We'll talk about it in just a sec. We're going to go over this uh, Deadline article. Deadline is my favorite. Um, but I'm really bummed because I, I really like this character on the show. I like Jonathan Kent. And I do like Jordan Elias as he plays him. So I'm kind of bummed about this. And I'm not even kind of bummed. I am bummed. So um, let's read this article and see, you know, what it says. But it is it is a really huge bummer. I was, I was like, I saw it and I was like, man, this sucks. So it says Superman and Lois to recast Jonathan Kent role as Jordan Elias exits the CW series. So it says, once well, it's updated, I wonder what they, okay. Superman and Lois, series regular Jordan Elias, will not be returning for the upcoming third season of the CW's DC series. As a result, his role, Jonathan Kent, will be recast. The decision was made after Texas native Elias did not report back to work by the deadline given to the cast uh, to reconvene in Vancouver, where Superman and Lois films. Jordan Elias has notified the studio that he will not be returning to Superman and Lois for season three due to personal reasons. Uh, the role of Jonathan Kent will be recast in the series producer Warner Brothers TV said in a statement Tuesday night. Um, again, I wonder what the personal reasons are. Obviously, it's none of my business and everything. And I hope everything is OK. You know, um, him personally, his physical well-being and mental well-being. And then I also hope that his family is OK because we don't know what happened here and everything. But I do hope that. That uh, I just hope everything is okay. So it says there is no comment yet from Elias or his team on the abrupt exit. According to sources, Elias has been dealing with serious personal issues, some of them possibly related to mental health. And like I said before, I just hope that it's nothing serious in the terms of, uh, you know, self harm or anything like that. That the series producers became aware of. There is also conflicting information whether Elias left or was let go. And so if he was fired because he's having mental health issues, that's some pretty, well, that's, you know, I think you can be sued. Over, yeah, I'm pretty sure I know you can be sued over that. You can't just, you can't fire somebody because they're not doing well health wise. Uh, that's not how that, that's like firing a pregnant lady. You can't, you can't fire pregnant people because they're pregnant. Anyways. Um, Elias's COVID vaccination status also is unknown. And that is a, that's a huge thing. Cause in Canada, Vancouver, where they film in Canada, you have to be, uh, vaccinated. Um, even though it doesn't work. I mean, you can still get the, get COVID from it. It's on the CDC's website. Don't argue with me. You can get it. You just, uh, you won't go to the hospital, I guess. Uh, he is believed to have used an exception during filming last season, which it's which he seemed to confirm in a quickly deleted Instagram story he posted in February in which he questions whether vaccines work. Canada has a policy about not allowing unvaccinated people come into the country, which was recently tested on tennis star Novak uh, Dukovic. I don't know if that's how you said Djokovic. I don't know if that's how you say his name. I actually like that guy before this whole thing with the, the vaccine. I really liked him. Who was denied entry over his refusal to get a COVID vaccine. Um, in Elias's case, that was a moot point because he did not attempt to return to the set in Canada, sources said. So it is a bummer. I mean, you know, I got vaccinated, um, you know, and a lot of people did. But like I said before, it's on the CDC's website. You can still get COVID, or at least it was the last time I checked it. You can still get COVID because of the vax. If you had get vaccinated, you just most likely won't go to uh, the hospital, you know, and it will be a serious. Plus, the 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 um uh the variations. What are they called? Oh shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, the variations of the that of the COVID have lessened, you know, over time because that's how that's how viruses work. They they don't want to kill you. They just want to live inside you um because they feed off of you so this is a bummer i really and i liked this like he was uh arguably my favorite character it was between him and superman because i really like superman 
Um, and I'd like, uh, um, uh, uh, Tyler Hoechlin as Superman uh, in this show. But it's such a bummer because I love this show so much and I don't want anything to happen to it as far as as that goes. And I just think that this whole thing with the, the vaccine, I mean, I'm sorry, but COVID is like long gone now, pretty much. I mean, it's not like gone forever. It's always going to be around now, but it's not it's not as serious with that first variation of it. So I think that we need to maybe take a step back. And Canada is so weird. No offense. Well, some offense to you Canadians. It's so weird up there. Like that. Uh, yeah, it's so weird. It's so weird. I, I don't understand it. But um, but, uh, you know, that's what happens when you uh, live under, you know, a dictator so all right well you guys well that is my video tell me what you guys think about this i'm super bummed about uh you know uh jordan elias you know not being on the show after you know on in season three it's gonna be a bummer but uh you know they gotta do what they gotta do um and you know how cheap they are they can't film you know somewhere else uh but all right tell me what you guys think uh you know are you sad about this are you not sad about this do you just not care you're gonna watch the show no matter what i'll watch the show anyways but i am kind of bummed about this um but tell me what you guys think go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below if you like this video go and hit that like button you know i won't mind if you're my channel please hit that subscribe button i'd greatly appreciate it and we'll see you guys on my next video you guys have a good day bye